I am reviewing the Nomad 7 solar panel. You can see the specs here. It charges small electronic devices, um, 12 volt output, and it has several different little hookups on it so that you can uh, plug in anything that's USB based. And a little power cord there that will plug into um, this little charger that has AA batteries in it, which is a pretty neat device, but we'll get to that in a second. But anyway, uh, it just has two main solar panels here and here. Um, it has a little pocket so that you can put all your cords in there. And you can fit that in there as well. And it, uh, it folds up like this, Velcro. On the lip there, you just hold it over. And it packages up pretty nicely. You slide it in your backpack. But if you're using it on your backpack, it has these loops here so you can attach it in several different places if you have some clips or whatever. You can just walk around and you can have your phone or GPS or whatever it is charging while you're hiking, which is pretty neat. Um, but anyway, it has uh, several different hookups. This is for items that have a cigarette lighter adapter, which is this piece right here. And it also has a USB cable that will plug into the slot here. And this cable is used to attach the battery pack. So you plug it into that and you plug it into this side here. But this can serve as two functions. Um, the solar panel itself can charge directly to your phone. So if you have like a your standard uh, USB cable that comes with your phone, you can plug it in. In this case, it's the Droid X. And then you just plug it directly into the power adapter. And sit it in the sun, and it charges directly to the device. So it's charging the battery inside the phone. The other option is... You can hook this directly up. to the uh, battery pack itself. Right. And you sit the panel in the sun and it'll charge the batteries in here. So that if you want, you can charge the batteries during the day if your phone's already charged and you don't need to charge it right away. And you can charge these batteries during the daytime and whenever the charge is complete and has a little a blinking light on it that will tell you when it's fully charged um, then you can take your phone plug it into the USB port here and plug the other end into your phone and it will charge using the batteries which is kind of neat the batteries can be used for anything, obviously. So anything that takes double A's. Or if you need triple A, there's an adapter that slides into here, and then the batteries go in that. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat idea. And it also has a uh, handy little flashlight on it, LED. So. Anyways, lots of cool little gadgets. Alright, so I guess uh, 
the next thing is just to go hook it up and see, see how it works. Alright, so we're here outside. I'm gonna try to talk loud because there's cars going by, but. Alright, so we're just gonna plug this in. To the, to the direct charger. And. We're gonna plug this rascal into the phone. And supposedly you're supposed to tilt this to the sun, like at a 45 degree angle, you get the best charge. But since it's broad daylight, it's not gonna really matter right now. But as you can see, it says it's charged already, which is mean I've charged it overnight, so it's not really charging anything now. But uh, you can see that it's trying to at least, so that's pretty cool. Being that it's very cloudy out. Alright, so now we're going to charge the battery pack. Just so you can see how that will work. Alrighty. Plug it in the little hole there. And you can see the lights blinking. Which means it's getting a charge. And on the back of this thing, it'll tell you what all the blinking means. Green blinking, red blinking, that means it's charging from 0 to 50 percent, right there, I'm at 7. But anyway, it's a pretty neat device that will not charge a laptop. You have to have a larger package that they offer to charge a laptop, but I can't say that I would be hiking around with my laptop too often, but um, for phones and things like that, it's pretty neat.